The OB1 pressure-driven flow controller is connected to a compressed air source. First, we connect the pneumatic tubing from the pressure-driven flow controller to reservoir 1 filled with the PLGA solution. In the next step, we connect reservoir 1 to flow sensor 1 with the PTFE tubing. The flow sensor is used to monitor and control the flow rate via a feedback cable connected to the OB1. Then we connect an adapted resistance tubing, which has a much smaller inner diameter and guarantees a better control of the flow stability. The two unused outlets of the microfluidic chip have been closed with mini lure plugs. Using another PTFE tubing and a mini lure connector, we connect the microfluidic chip to reservoir 1 through the central inlet. In a similar way, reservoir 2 with the water surfactant solution is connected to the microfluidic system. First, we connect the reservoir to the OB1 with the pneumatic tubing. And then the reservoir is connected to flow sensor 2 using PTFE tubing. Here at the flow sensor's outlet, we're using a resistance tubing, after which the path is split into two tubings by using a T-junction. Both tubings coming from the T-junction are having the same length and we connect them to the outer inlets via mini lower connectors. Finally, by using another PTFE tubing with a mini lower connector, we connect the chip's outlet to a reservoir in which the nanoparticles will be collected.